O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, folks. May your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, the angels protect you, and heaven accept you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 449, NASDAQ off 117, S&P's off 54. Gold, gold contract up $65.40, $2,005 an ounce. Silver up a dollar, $22.71 an ounce. Light sweet crew down a buck 68, $66.67 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up a full point plus 19 ticks traded at 115.25. 30 year up a full two points plus four ticks at 132.23 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 1,300 ticks trading 76.88. The Euro is at 106. The Yen is at 131. And the British Pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Let's take it. We'll look at the futures first. We had option expiration coming in next 60 minutes. We have tested this low a few times. Uh, well, we've only tested it once, actually. So let's see what we have here. The first, the first level down there, we had 42,000 contracts. We just tested it with 40. Well, we'll see if we get any juice. You might go to the top of this range here, because when we look at the NQs, the NQs have been stronger since yesterday, and the NQs right now you actually had a higher, yeah, you had a higher one. So the NQs probably will go up to the the where we were about uh, an hour ago. That's game right now. The NQs twelve thousand six twenty three. That's twelve thousand six sixty nine or something. That right in that area here. That's what I expect we're going to do. And then if we bring these up on a daily basis and we take a look at these on the daily basis, what you're going to see is that you know bottom line you get a sideways move. Um, you get you actually get light volume uh, pulling on the way back. So what may I suspect what's going to happen here, we're going to consolidate here. Because you'd have to build more cars in order to blow this through now because of the way that we actually, you know, we, we rejected, we had come down. So we had come down on Monday and never made it to the swing point. The swing point that we're talking about is 374. We got down to three, looks like, okay, 380. Then you basically, you know, we went up with good volume yesterday. You're backing down, but you're backing down into uh, 187 million shares, and right now you've only done 101. Then we go into the queues, and the queues, the queues look to me, folks, that, you know, yeah, longer term we're still going down, but uh, shorter term this thing wants to hit this uh, swing point up here, the swing point that brings you back to the uh, end of January, the beginning of February. Um, you had big volume yesterday. It took out the swing point. You're backing down a bit today. We'll see where it goes. Gold. So physical gold is going like gangbusters. There's no two ways about that. Um, you got to look at this intraday move. This is and Fridays are always a trip. There's no doubt. In this particular case, you you had buyers in an extraordinary extraordinary way. So what you have here, we took out the swing, and yeah, that swing is going to be taken out with volume. Let me just look at something for a second. Okay, so if we take if I do this one here, let's just see what we got. Yeah, okay, so that one doesn't work. GC1, but what I was just looking at is that if, in fact, I'm going to put this on a continuous contract to see if we have a, a larger ABC up, that pulled back too fat, too more than a 0.618. So when you're gauging a, an ABC structure up, but that one didn't. Oh, I like it. Okay. Yeah, you can once you can have a much larger ABC up here, and if that's what we have, this is going to be some fun. Okay, so we got sixteen thirteen, 
and 19. That's like three, 320. Yeah, you got the, you're on the way. This is, uh, I see what's going on, yeah. The, well, let me get this again. So you get 16, 13, 19, like 50, 50 something. I'm sorry, these, what's happening, folks, is monitor, I gotta get it closer to me. Um, which is gonna get you into the $2,200 area. That's how this is shaking out right now. If we go inside the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX, what you have out here, NVIDIA's up 1.6%. You got, uh, what is this? Oh, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers up 1.5%. eBay's up 1.5%. Adobe's up 1.3%. Taken away from it. You have uh, Enphrase is down 9%. You got Pacecar off 3.5%. Facebook's off 3.5%. Pinduoduo is down 3.5%. If we go inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials point-wise. There's only three stocks that are in the positive in the Dow Industrials. In the negative, you have Goldman Sachs, uh, negative 70 points. This is putting into the Dow Industrials now. Uh, Travelers, 51. J.P. Morgan, 32. Caterpillar, 35. And Amgen, 30. Uh, we take a look at the uh, couple of these big banks, and I suspect over the weekend, the way this normally shakes out, folks, they made it through the week, First Republic. They put the bread in it yesterday, but guess what? You're trading down $11.00. Um, if we closed here, that would be a closing low. Uh, yeah, so I, I suspect over the weekend uh, you're going to, you know, they're basically going to take it over. Something's going to fly. They're not going to let this open uh, next week when they already put the bread into it and it didn't work. Uh, Pac West looks like the same deal. Uh, Pac West right now, that's trading uh, down $1.91. You're at 951. Uh, you know, we'll see whether they can get someone. To basically take them over, and it's gonna, what's going to be really intriguing, there's no doubt, is to see, you know, after the financial debacle in 2007, what had actually happened, which was really weird, you know, they had these banks take over other banks, but then they shafted them at the same time um, <laughs> with the problems that some of these other banks had. So it's like trying to get someone to take over a bank. And, you know, so you have this bank taking over this bank. Well, this bank had plenty of problems in 2007, right? Well, what actually ended up happening is that if this bank was taking this one over and then it comes in here, well, it ended up being that bank's problem. You think that they, um, you know, listen, I'm not sticking up for the banks. I'm just saying that, that's like insane that they force them to take it over and then you have to take their problems, you know. Stay right there, folks, and come right back.